Well, morning of day six. Sun is just coming up. We're up and about. I'm cooking us up some porridge here. And we're uh, gonna get ready to hit the road. Gas station opens at eight. Beautiful morning. Very cold though. We are all packed up, ready to hit the road. We're leaving this place as if we've never been here. But our friend sure don't. <laughs> the donkeys know. <laughs> they were not happy with us all night being here. First stop, Wayside Oasis, to get some fuel, and then it's on to Salome. We are on the road back towards Salome. Looks like we're doing a bit of dirt road driving first. This final leg of our seven day trip will take us down along the side of the uh, runway into the wayside to grab some fuel. After we've fueled up, we head south onto the trails going to be crossing at the Cottonwood Pass today and we'll visit the Miner's Hideaway as we go through that pass. And then it's a simple ride down from the pass into Salome. We'll grab some fuel and then head back to the KOA campground where our rig is parked. Wayside gets the prize for most expensive fuel on the trip at $7 a gallon. Well, that's all right. They're providing a service in the middle of the desert. It's expensive, I'm sure, to have fuel shipped out here. And we have to support the businesses along the way that uh, allow the Arizona Peace Trail to continue. Now it's warming up quite quickly. It's pretty nice out right now. I'm starting to be able to feel my toes. <laughs> I was just thinking that the mine are starting to finally warm up. My feet were warm like when we were sleeping, thanks to the big bag that Michelle loved us. But uh, as soon as I put my shoes on and got out of the tent, yeah, they got cold. Like strapping on a couple of blocks of ice. Yeah. I think it was four degrees out there when we woke up this morning. up through Cottonwood Pass, so we're just going to make a quick stop here at something called the Miner's Hideaway. Not a whole lot of it left. <laughs> huh? 
been a big cave in. Obviously, there used to be a wall the whole way along here. Multiple rooms. Oh, yeah. I got a uh, fireplace with a chimney over there. The wood gave way. Oh, the wood or it just crumbled around it maybe. Yeah, that could be too, yeah. It's too bad. Na nature taking its course. What we build, nature always takes back. <laughs> Pretty yeah. So they got a chimney hole bored up through there, I guess, eh? See if I can find where that chimney comes out. There it is. Yeah, there's a chimney pipe. Like about a 12 inch diameter pipe here. Over there. We took the obligatory photos at the summit. The last couple of kilometers before we get back to the uh, RV park. And this has been a blast. Yeah, we've had a really good time. I can't believe how fast the seven days went. It went pretty fast, and we had a great travel partner in. Uh, Shell, absolutely nothing phases yeah, the man. What a trooper. Yeah. He's been manhandling his uh, big ATV. We've been riding in relative comfort. And he's been following us the entire time. Eating a lot of dust. Yeah. Put up with a lot of U-turns. <laughs> That's true. Well, 
Well, here we are. Thanks everyone for joining us on this adventure. <laughs> Glad you can come along with us. Uh, not in body and spirit. We will put our uh, final tally in how far we drove to the bottom of the screen right here once we figure it out. Oh, our trailer stuff. Anyway, thanks for joining us. See you later. See you later.